Hey everyone, and welcome back to Paranautical Activity. I am going to look at the unlocks, I guess. Kind of figure out what I'm going to do. I see that Mike fixed this, so you unlock a runner for that instead of the M14. Which probably was how it was anyway. But, who knows. Let's do a tank run. Uh, yeah, let's do a tank normal mode run. That sounds like a plan. God, that's just ridiculous is what that is. I like these unlocks nothing. Because that's silly. Alright, I'll get there eventually. Four floors in a row with only melee. That's like you need to do left hand and then uh, like left hand Tenchi sword. That's what it is. Eat hardcore mode without spending money. That's, that's just, Mike, you're a crazy man. Eat hardcore mode going into every room. <laughs> Why would you do that? Mystery chest. I guess I'll have to do that sometime. Spawns every set of enemies twice. Yeah. All right, like I said, let's do a tank classic run. That sounds like something I can do. So I just picked up a uh, 144 hertz monitor, and it's like pure magic. So uh, I'm enjoying that. And like, while this will look the same to you, and man does it look weird looking over there and seeing it in 30 FPS, because you know, YouTube, 30 FPS, all that stuff. Um, it, it looks crazy to me. And hopefully I should play better because of it. I'm used to the new mouse. I got a... Um, the mouse pad was my problem with it. As it turned out, the mouse pad I got with it. So I got a different mouse pad that was just a, a larger version of the one that I had previously. And uh, now it's fantastic. The mouse is great. So now I have... That was close. Uh, so now I have like a better mouse, mouse pad and monitor and this monitor is insane I like I've been looking at it for like all of eternity but I finally decided you know what screw it I'm gonna buy it and I'm really happy with it so uh, I'm gonna talk more about the mouse separately sometime since I know you're wondering about that but the monitor is a uh, an Asus VG 248 QE so it's a 24 inch, 144 hertz, one MS response. It's pure magic in the form of a beautiful, beautiful monitor. As far as criticisms I could raise of it though, it does have kind of weird color that takes fiddling to make it look decent. Awesome, nice, that's pretty perfect actually. Uh, but other than that, everything is like the greatest and like that's all that matters I guess why aren't you taking damage what why wasn't it taking damage most of the time that was weird okay I do want hook because that's a damage up but uh, this here reroll that's pretty valuable Especially since I can't afford the shop, but I might want to save it for a later level. Anyway, I, I do quite like the, uh, the monitor. Because beyond that, it's it's really good. It's really sturdy, so even when like my other monitors, their stands let them shake a little bit. When I'm doing anything that causes movement on my desk, pretty much. But this one just it, it stays solid completely, all the time. And then just... The 144 hertz is amazing because I've never used above 60, so like the difference is mind blowing to me. So if you have any reason that you could use a frame rate higher than 60, get it. <laughs> like if you were considering such a thing, do it. I only have 200 bucks. I don't really think it's worth rerolling on this floor considering there are no extra rooms or anything. So I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. 
Because I guess I could afford to buy a chainsaw. I can't quite afford piracy, which would actually be decently useful. Still. Uh, anyway, the reason that I'm not talking about the mouse more is just that I'm still testing some a lot of things. It takes a lot more time to figure out if I like it compared to a monitor, which is clearly the greatest thing I've ever used. So I'm just kind of keeping that for a little bit. You'll know in like a week, I'm sure. So I just have to get used to that a little more than I already have. Like, I'm pretty used to it. It's just that I have a lot of features and things to it, more so than a monitor has, that I need to see, like, is this how I like it? Is this good? And stuff like that. Another reroll. All right. We've got two on this floor. That's fantastic. Let's get back to the game anyway. So I got a double jump from that boss. That's pretty useful. Got a damage up elsewhere from the mini boss. I'm taking way too much damage, but that's fine. I don't think there was a defeat classic mode with every character thing. Achievement. Unlock. Which is kind of annoying. I would love to have, you know, one for classic mode and one for hardcore mode. That would make sense in my eyes. So I think that the cannon is a very bad uh, super weapon, by the way. Which is why I'm not really getting any use out of it. Oh my god. I have all the rerolls right now. I can't really say that it's worth using a reroll until I've already uh, at least checked out the shop. Even if I don't want this item, I have to see what's in the shop. And preferably with the boss drops. There's no ghost coming here. Because I definitely selected classic mode. I can tell you that. So, I don't have to worry about that. That's naval training. Damage and fire rate up. I definitely wanted that. So we've got three rerolls this floor. I'm really hoping that we have an armory or something that I can make use of for some of that reroll business. Because that would be pretty game changing. Three items that I can just reroll. Like maybe a trap room or something. Would be really awesome. And when there's no time limit, I'm in good shape. Alright. There's the shop. Still have to check out the boss, of course. And I mean, if I'd, I'm going to use two rerolls on this floor, like no matter what. It's just a matter of, I mean, okay, I won't use them if there's literally no point, but if there's even the slightest point, I'm going to go ahead and use them. Alright, I'm going to be able to get the mystery box and trigger finger. Those are probably good. I want to see if there are any other rooms beyond that. Um, beyond this stuff. So, slow-mo is really good. It slows down time for everything but like sort of us because we still have full fire rate we just move a little differently but it also changes gravity so we actually can jump higher it's really cool and good so yeah I am totally breaking my usual philosophy of if an if a room gives you an item go there first right right now I'm, I'm clearing instead it's fine, though. By the way, V-Sync in this game is just 60 frames per second, even if you have a very high refresh rate monitor. Because of the way Unity works, apparently Mike can't change that. So, uh, don't use V-Sync unless you have performance issues with the game, I guess is what I'm getting at. Or unless, you know, you don't care about having extra input frames, which is also fair. Like, I always liked running games at 120 plus frames per second. Even on a 60 hertz monitor, just so I had a lot of frames for inputs. I... See, this is what I hate about mystery boxes. You can't open them. I would reroll that in a heartbeat. 
because it's really annoying. Now every time I get hit, I'm going to have the Doxy voice, and it's really annoying to listen to, so get used to it, I guess, and I'll have to do the same. Maybe I'll just stop getting hit. <laughs> Excuse me. As you could probably tell, I am still a bit sick. But I am going to reroll this. I'll also reroll Trigger Finger with it. Freaking fool. Oh my god. Alright, um... Maybe. I want to go for it. I'm grabbing the far away one first, just so I don't have to backtrack as far next time. I don't know, it doesn't make a difference, but... I'm doing it. Like, overall, it doesn't make a difference. There's no ghosts to deal with, but I don't have a ton of health. So I don't really know. I should probably not take it. I can't get enough money to buy uh, Shield Lover. Let's just reroll them. I don't want Mario, and I really wish I could get Flipper, because with the, the shotgun, Flipper is broken as all butts. It is so broken, because that just means that you can shoot, it'll bounce off a wall, and you'll just get what you want. But 450 is a hefty price that I cannot pay. A can of beans, though, is really good, and I'm totally taking that. So let's get out of here, since I don't want Mario. That's a ground pound that I don't believe even damages enemies, it's just bad. And like, it activates before your double jump, so it's quite annoying. And I prefer not having it. And for those of you that will point out that yes, there is an achievement for having 30 items at once, that does not matter right now, because there's no way that this run will get 30 items just due to the nature of not being infinite. Alright, so this looks like a place where a reroll's happening. But of course I want to wait until I've cleared the floor. See if there's an armory or something. <laughs> that was... close. Seriously though, I do feel like this monitor is opening up a lot of freedom to me that I didn't previously really realize I had. So I'm sorry for taking damage. I would prefer not taking damage as well. Because, I mean, once you take the item, you're stuck with it. And I did not uh, plan to take the item. It just happened. There we go. And then there is a shark, I believe. Yeah. Look at this guy. How did that not kill them? That's, like, impressive. Cool. Alright, I'm fine with dead ends. They don't bother me at all. just means that I'm that much closer to finding uh, everything on the floor. Although dead ends kind of suck because they're not. Right now I want to see armories, like more than anything. So that that's why dead ends suck when they're not armories. Other than that, uh, we are we are pretty good. I also, I can't wait for YouTube to get 60 frames. Because, like, I can record stuff in 60 frames. I'm going to. As soon as it's available, all of my videos of games that record or that play in 60 or more frames will be 60 frames per second. Of course, I'm not going to bother recording, um, like, Nuclear Throne in 60 frames because it only plays in 30. But uh, Rebirth will play in 60, and I'm, I'm willing to expect that uh, 60 FPS won't come to YouTube before Rebirth comes out. If it does, though, um, the current Binding of Isaac is only 30 frames per second, so that wouldn't be 60, because that's a waste of memory. Piece of 8, damage and speed up. That's awesome. Uh, but there you go. Most games will be 60 frames, because most games play in at least 60 frames that I upload. That's a super boss. 
That's terrifying. But it does give me two items to reroll. That's the thing. I need to see if I get, like, assault or something. Because if an enemy dropped assault for me, I would just go into that super boss room and then I would kill it, if possible. So we're going to do the super boss last, and since I don't have to care about the ghost, then uh, I, I'm, I'm cool. What haven't I killed? Oh. Who left you there? I'm still gonna fight the super boss if I don't get assault or something good from the boss. Oh, perfect. And this is why I say things so that when they happen you can say, well he did he did want that, he did ask for that, he did somewhat predict it. Because the super boss is harder, I'm going to do it first. So, assault is double damage and fire rate. And I really don't like this boss. Alright. We made it through on the plus side. Uh, I'll take Trigger Finger. Because it's free. I don't remember what was in the shop. I'm gonna go check. And uh, slow-mo would have actually maybe been more useful. Interestingly enough, because uh, it would slow the boss down and change my movement physics pretty nicely. Oh yeah, I want to reroll all of that. That's pretty nice. But you see, I took four damage in there. That's not uh, not insignificant. All right, so if we get <laughs> Hans's coat, I'm gonna reroll it. Just uh, and if we get the pistol, I get to reroll the cannon. So it doesn't matter. That's what I thought I saw. Hans's coat. Since I'm re-rolling on this floor, I figured I could save my slow-mo power-up. Okay, so I just re-rolled five items. Three in the shop, one in the super boss, and one in here. Scissors. Oh, that's beautiful. Cuts prices in half. Like it says, all shop items will be half price from now on for the rest of the game. Gangasol, I do not want anything to do with it. I have to pick it up one day, but I'll pick it up at like the end of a run sometime instead, when it won't make a huge difference and like kill everyone in the time we have it. Basically, it allows you, it turns your jump into something that flips gravity, so you only for you though. So you go on the ceiling with it and all that stuff. So oil can is a damage up. Mystery box gets us a blast shield, which is fantastic. Since I have scissors, I will take rage. A uh, blast shield makes us immune to all explosions, and rage increases our damage as we kill enemies. And I think it's on a timer for when your uh, damage reduces again. So it's aight. So away we go. And I'm gonna take a drink of water. So, uh, just a second. All right, there we go. Sure, I can work with this. Oh wow, nice damage. What I kind of want to see... I mean, I kind of like the way Tower of Guns handles jumps where you can find... I mean, I kind of like a lot of things about Tower of Guns. Yeah, okay, for 50, I will take that. Uh, it's just like, 
I feel like this game would actually do really well with some system where you could find things like jumps. Except that two things give you flight. One through infinite jumps and one through flight. So it's a little bit different. And this game has a lot less verticality. But it was a thought that I just had, kind of like, you know, it'd be fun if I could get three jumps instead of infinite or something. At the same time, infinite jumps is great. Don't get me wrong. Still, I, I, I don't know. I like the way that uh, Tower of Guns handles a lot of power-ups. But that's why it's Tower of Guns and this is Paranautical Activity. Because I don't have, like, I don't think it's bad that this game doesn't have that. Don't get me wrong. I like this game a lot. Obviously, I've played it a lot of times for a lot of hours. <laughs> so, I don't know. That was close. I totally should have been hit. Wish I had the magnet right now. The swagnet. God, whenever they die, it looks like they drop a... Dice pickup. And I, I want to have a dice pickup in my life. So uh, that Tesla coil allowed me to hold twice as much super weapon ammo, up to 200. Of course the bottle opener just lets me hold infinite, but I don't have that, so it's okay for now. And I still, I don't even think my super weapon is worth using, but... Hey. I would still love to see Flipper. Flipper is an awesome item that I want to have in my life. In my run. A can of beans is the reason that stuff is taking damage, like, by the way. It just, like, gets near me and dies. Because it's taking damage to can of beans. Which damages nearby enemies, of course. It also poisons them. Which is a recent addition. Oop. Oh wow, I two-shotted it. It's amazing. Shotgun doesn't have that much range on small targets. That's why it took so long to kill that thing. I'm surprised I killed it at all. But large targets, no problem. Chainsaw, uh, I'll take it, but I'm gonna first see if I get a reroll. Chainsaw makes it so that whenever I throw a bomb, it will uh, cause a chainsaw to come out of the ground. Just like uh, Hans's attack. Can of beans, man. It's good stuff. So uh, the harp there weakens enemy homing. Which uh, is not that good because it doesn't weaken it by that much. So it's not a super effective, useful item. And I'll only take it if I don't get a reroll. That's my philosophy on that particular item. So that's how it shall be. And I doubt I'm getting a reroll. It doesn't look like it. This is a cool room. Haven't seen this one before. What is this stuff going on here? Alright, wild card, it's on you. I think that actually did reroll. I think it actually did. <coughs> oh my god. Good luck right now. Shield lover, uh, that allows um, us to get more shield drops and less um, actually I very rarely get the rocket launcher uh, more shield drops less heart drops and that's fine because I don't really need health as much as I need shields and did I buy everything from the shop no not even close chosen one and Mario so chosen one allows you to double tap in order to dash, and it's really bad because a lot of the time my movement involves just tapping a few times in a row, 
so that I can move precisely and it really throws everything off because I'll just randomly dash and it'll really ruin everything instead of helping me at all. Alright, as long as it's still two shots Gileads, I'm really okay with it. I already have Blast Shield by the way, so I don't really need to worry about uh, going for blowing up the Kajiggers. You know, the Kajiggers. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna head out of here. And that'll be that. We have the rocket launcher. Doesn't have the best fire rate, but it's not as bad as it is by default, of course. And that's an annoying room. I don't know this room. Oh, that's a cool spawn. I love when that kind of thing happens. I know this room, after all. I just didn't know it was this room right away. Sometimes that kind of thing is hard to tell until you've already dealt with most of the stuff. Ouch. Nice, some dice pickup. It's because I love the idea of the power up so much. Seriously, the way it changes physics is so fun. Fight this mini boss. Oct. Door. See, it feels like I'm shooting really fast. And I basically am. But really, it's just my normal fire rate made to look insane because of stuff. A battery power up that gives me full super weapon ammo. Propeller is a fire rate up. I'm down for that. I wish I had magnet. Ouch. But all the fire rate I can get is gonna be good for this. Oh my god, another dice pickup. Game, you spoil me too much. Alright, I don't have to do that room and I probably won't. God, the batteries, man. The batteries, man. I'm not really gaining very much health, but Shield Lover is clearly working. I can use a lot of super ammo and not really care. Still haven't found the shop, but we've got our boss, so that's good. Ah, dang, shop's through there. If you look through something, uh, like at the corner of your vision, you have a larger vision cone, because I guess it's a square. Or a rectangle or something. Still, that is how it is, so. I like that I one shot the egg sacks, that's really useful. So we get a damage up and poison damage added to our shots on this, uh, from this boss, from its item. And I have to do a pretty annoying room to get to the shop, but I have two rerolls and a lot of money considering I have the scissors. I would say this is, it's worthwhile. But I do want this item, without a doubt. <laughs> All right. I'm willing to do this room simply because it looks like I can use this room to skip um, the annoying room that has acid in it. And I really don't want to have to deal with acid. is a better spawn for this room. Alright, cool. Is this the side with the shop? I think I might just be crazy. Dude, everything right now. Oh, this doesn't have acid in it. I still have to do it. Um, everything right now seems to be giving me batteries. Like they want me to use my super weapon that I really have no use for. This rocket launcher is killing it though. Uh, yes I want the evil eye. No I don't want dinghy. And I'll just reroll both of these. 
I'm not gonna buy the anchor. I can reroll again, and that'll be more worth it. Anchor makes you fall faster, as you might expect from an anchor, but you might not. Oh, this one has acid in it. Okay, so I could just see through three rooms. Apparently your vision extends infinitely at the corners of your vision, I guess. Whatever, ma'am. It's fine. I can deal with that. Because that's a really significant difference in your vision cone. But like I said, I'm okay with that. Alright, I can just do this. And then take one of these batteries. No, there's got to be something more useful. There has to be something that isn't a battery, right? Ouch. <sighs> I guess not. Because I couldn't find this one. Due to its lack of existence. So I guess everything's a battery. That's fine. I'll just take a battery then. Man, I miss the fire rate glitch. Swap weapons and suddenly your fire rate is... Reset. It, it, it was great. <laughs> I miss it. It was a grand time. Laser shotgun. Alright, honk, there you go. A bit of invincibility. Not really interested in the laser shotgun though, because I don't have bounciness. Let's go. Evil Eye, of course, allows my shots to pierce enemies. And it's really freaking broken. With, uh... Unless Mike fixed it. With, um... Explosives. Yeah, as you could see, it exploded on contact, and then exploded again when it hit the ground. So against bosses with large hitboxes, it's like the most broken thing because you can hit them a bunch of times with just continual explosions. And it's uh, pretty grand. Oh, that was actually a pretty decent time to use this invincibility here. Oh, I'm so glad Mike didn't fix this. This is also how it is with the blowfish gun. Except, of course, that that has homing in on it. Like, homing on it. So it's even dumber. Okay, that's the boss, which means it's also linked to this room. Which also happens to be an acid room. That's cool. I wasn't using my life. Fight the boss. See what we get. <laughs> we got this boss anyway. That looks like it's exploding a bunch of times and not hitting multiple times. Unless this doesn't actually do that much damage and it's just actually doing a ton more damage than it usually does. But I, I would reroll that item given the ability. I'm not a huge fan of it. So I just popped more invincibility. God, I'm I'm ridiculous right now. <laughs> of course I'm still on the hunt for the mythical beast. That is uh, the shop, mini boss, potential super boss, and anything. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Don't miss you anymore. Okay. So 
since I don't fear explosions, and hey. So there's my reroll. That's pretty convenient. I'm probably gonna fail to find my assault power up again. That's how it goes sometimes. Since Mike highlighted the uh, doors, you can actually tell that's a useless dead end, which is nice. It's like super easy to misplace power ups though. On a. Is that another. Re no, okay. On a dark floor, because all of the jellyfish are dropping power ups and it's like. It's all the power ups in the world that you could ever even imagine. <laughs> oh, I see. So oh, I've found another uh, reroll. I haven't even found the mini boss. Or the shop. Okay, there's the shop. Gotta love Evil Eye, man. It's so good. Oh, well, look, there's both of them. Alright, I'm gonna assume that Powder Keg works with what I've got with my um, current explosions. I don't know that it does. But it doubles the damage from bomb explosions, and I'm just gonna hope that it works with... Um, item. I have dubs, always dark floors. I'm gonna pass on that. Blowfish gun, alright. Since I get to reroll the cannon then, since it's just a straight swap. Cannonball, damage up, fire rate down. Not interested in flip-flops. Uh, wait, how did I end up with another reroll? I have three rerolls now? Is that what you're telling me? Alright, let's go for it. Oh wait, no, I need to check the uh, boss room, which is sadly far away. Or wait, yeah, no, I, I definitely re-rolled. Definitely, definitely re-rolled. I'm lost. I'm lost. Oh, I understand. Oh no, I didn't, okay. Um doesn't want me to re-roll. What? Game. I can't re-roll. Well, let's wait through this onk. Try again. I'm mega confused. Did I just use this reroll but it didn't disappear but I can still carry it and have it? Mike, fix your game. Uh, yeah, it's over here. So let's try this one. So I can't use dice <laughs> oh oh I see I have infinite rerolls right now Mike what what is going on let's find something I want then I don't think it'll work oh my god it works this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen But it's only working on these and not on the boss room. Okay. I'm not going to ask questions right now. Now that I know what's happening, I'm, I'm just fine with it. So I'm hoping that this allows me to bounce them through enemies that have already been bounced through and it's great. But we'll see. I want to see if I can get into any super meta kajiggers with this. Whatever, I took it. Although I think that um, what someone said was if it 
goes through an enemy, it doesn't bounce. And if it bounces, it doesn't go through enemies. So it's my sworn duty to fall into a hole on this level. Because that's an unlock that I haven't yet gotten. I wonder if my rerolls are still infinite. Ouch. No. No, they are not. That's fine. I don't need them to be. Not interested in that room. Ouch. I'm really, really messing up here with my aim. Okay, I, I actually don't know if that's true. Because this is going really strangely so far. Ouch. Really, really strangely. Okay, so that's assault. I'm just gonna take it and use it. And then this should be pretty effective. That was pretty effective, yeah. I still have assault available, that's pretty silly. Stop chasing me. Gilead's gun, which by the way... we can get a pretty sweet laser storm going on. But I think that this is too silly to pass up. Keeping. <laughs> Excuse me. Since I'm doing extra floors, I might just kind of fall through now. Hey, armor box. Do it. Unlocked the ore. Alright, that was weird where it put me there. Okay. Since it turns out that this is actually where the boss is, that's fine. But it, it does seem that I can have a shot bounce until it hits something and then it'll stop bouncing, like it'll do the pierce thing. So it seems like a much better synergy than people made it out to be. Okay, it's really weird that I have to direct hit with the rocket launcher now, and it's kind of fun. More super weapon ammo? I guess I need to start using my super weapon, don't I? Alright, so let's pick up some super weapon ammo. So now I do get 10 per, uh, per ammo pickup. I have a boatload of cash, which is pretty nice. I like how it just bounces around until it hits something. That's fantastic. Seriously, this <coughs> item combination is like busted, and I love it. I feel right in a really silly way. Alright, mystery box. Flip flop, cherry bomb, lighthouse. How many items do I have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, eight, nine is what? Uh, that's like 20, 25. I'm five items away from the 30 items thing. 
That's pretty good. So, um, Lighthouse. Well, Cherry Bomb makes my bombs explode into other bombs that all do full damage. Cherry Bomb makes it so that, um, or sorry, I already explained that one. Flip Flops make it, it so that I take damage half as often on Acid and Lava. Go from one second to two seconds. And that's pretty nice. And Lighthouse makes it so that if I get down to one heart, I get three armor. But in order for that to work again, I need to get another heart. So it's not infinite. It's just once every time you pick up a heart. So if I don't get 30 uh, items this run, it's totally my own fault. Because I could have easily bought some stuff, or taken some more stuff. Not that I'm going to need this. <laughs> Dude, this thing is a flashlight. That's useful. Um, excuse me. I'd like to be off on my way, if you don't mind. <laughs> this is comical. Alright. We're still on the hunt for the boss. I've already bought all three items from the shop this floor. Dang, dude. Getting hit a lot. And I'm just using this thing because it's a freaking glorious flashlight. Oh my god, another dice pickup. Guess I'd rather have that. It's probably more helpful. Make sure that I get good items worth taking. Nope. You're just going to have to get dealt with like this. I'm going to take his item just because. Alright, let's do this. Sucks that it was a dark level, but no big deal. I'm out of ammo, apparently. How to feel silly, number one. Ow. Not done yet. That's why. I could die too. That'd be pretty unfortunate. Just remember, I'm not invincible right now. Oh my god. Seriously? I'm taking a lot of damage. Ooh. Holy butts, dude. You can't dodge that. That's not true. I still want a homing shots buff for myself. We don't have a homing shots buff, and I want one real bad. Dude, your rolls are too good. There we go. This is getting pretty scary. So the boss will net me one item, and I'll just take it. The shop should net me three, and the mini boss will net me one, and then I'll have enough. Lag is gonna be good. 
Why am I getting hit by so many things? Don't you dare die. If you die, you are such a scrub, me. Okay, she's dead. I have... Oh, okay, right, I have Lighthouse. Lighthouse saves the day, buddy. Oh man, I'm so glad I ended up with Lighthouse. Okay, so I have two rerolls. Again, helping me ensure that I just get items that I can take rather than something that I can't really take, like a weapon. I don't know if those count towards it, like if I've swapped weapons. Because I could be like one item away right now, or I could be many items away. And I don't know. I just don't know. No. 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 It's terrifying. Okay. Horseshoe. Need to save this reroll. Because that, that is an item. Which uh, increases our loot drops. Pretty good. Except that I have all the loot I could ever desire. Remember, I have another reroll on this floor, too. Lightning bolt, movement speed, and fire rate up. Yeah, Kamikaze turns my health into my, like my bombs are my health now, and I have 88 of them. That's not a big deal. Uh, I will take Genghis Soul. And uh, also when I lose health, I let out an explosion, of course, so that'll damage enemies nearby. Which makes it something of a useful thing for that. Okay, we did it. We got 30, we 30 items, that is. Also, since I have a double jump, I can do this. I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead and finish this run now. Since we, uh, we did the stuff we needed to. Oh, I can even pick up. See, and then, like... When I'm strafing, a lot of the time I'm tapping a lot so that I can move precisely. So it really throws off my movement. It sucks. I can still use bombs, by the way. That's a thing. Man, this looks pretty in 144 hertz. I mean, everything's already pretty great. So that's going to do it for today. Oh, interesting. That stays there. How weird. So uh, that, that is today. I had a bunch of fun with that run. That was really cool and really, really tense at the end. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.